Hey guys, it's Nick here from Toad Hall Books and Records, and it's time for our big unboxing video. We have, oh, we got a lot of boxes to go through. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, you can check out all these records right now on our website, toadhallonline.com. I'll put a link in the bio for the special RSD 2022 area. Uh, we're still putting up photos and items and prices and quantities, so just know that it's a work in progress. Not everything's on there. A lot of this stuff we're just unboxing, so uh, just be patient with us, but we'll have it up soon. Jazz Dispensary Super Skunk. This is a new record. I'm going to get this stack before you bury them. There we go. We've got a nice little stack of them. I love the different, it's got like, it's all cut die cut back in front it's a full length record cannonball adderley houston pearson woody herman the bar case pressed on opaque red vinyl always a big popular record happy to have that for our first unboxing guys if you're into rsd stuff do please like subscribe get on the channel we do a lot of record story videos including my final one right before record store day where i talk about i go over all of the records as they come in all the records that are available, I should say. Um, when they're all in my rack and when they're all priced, I'll get to that. But right today, we're unboxing. They're unboxing over there. All right, Bill Evans, Inner Spirit. First time I've ever seen this one. Uh, from Resonance Records, uh, Inner Spirit. This is a limited edition 6500, 180 gram, 2 LP set, hand numbered, Bernie Grunman, RTI. All the good stuff. Bill Evans, huge, huge jazz in the jazz community. These are going to be very much sought after. So I got, so far, a nice stack. Also, I will mention that I have another palette showing up today. So even everything we go over, I still have more coming. So if you see one or two of something, don't worry about it until we get a little closer. Because like I said, stuff is showing up daily at this point. Here's some more Bill Evans. All right, here, pornography, picture disc. It wouldn't be record store day if we didn't have a uh, Cure picture record. <clears throat> uh, finally, for the first time on picture disc, 40th anniversary edition, the famous Cure pornography. You can put these in this rack. You can use this rack if you want for the first one. Here's more, here's more Bill Evans. You can put that with that. What's next here? Joan Jett and the Black Hearts Acoustics. You drive me wild. You don't know what you've got. School days, good music, fresh start. I hate myself for loving you. Androgynous and bad reputation. Joan Jett. Man, she's always putting out stuff for Record Store Day. So that's all for that. We've got a stack of seven inches. What are these? These are Foo Fighters Making a Fire. Mark Ronson reversion and Chasing Birds. Uh, so this was supposed to come out for the last Record Store Day and got pushed to this one. Um, obviously, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, with the passing of the Foo Fighters drummer, Taylor Hawkins, um, kind of sad to see more Foo Fighters stuff out because they're kind of on hiatus right now. We'll see what happens, but, uh, happy that we did get this, these cool revisions, uh, re-versions, I guess, uh, of these two songs. So, Preservation Jazz Hall version and a Mark Ronson reversion. so... I'm sure we'll have a nice stack of these at some point. I'll try to keep the seven inch separate here. <clears throat> Here's the first box set we've had. Robert Ayler. Re Revelations. It is a, holy cow, one, two, three, five, five LP box from Elemental Music. 2022, obviously the first ever release of the complete Foundation Maggot concerts from 1970. Kevin Gray from Cohere and Audio Cut It. It's going to be awesome. All right, what we got next here? Guys, we got, I mean, like two or three pallets worth of boxes to open. So this is going to be a long video. So, uh, you know, just be patient. Uh, this is going to be the big one for the year. So Santana Splendiferous. Splendiferous. Two LP set. Uh, I could read this sticker here. A vision, of a vision collection of incredible songs that f I feel needed to be shared with the listener's heart. I personally compiled the songs in a flow that speaks to me and tells a story outside of time. 
the songs are assigned and designed to unite and celebrate humanity and bring healthy healing and intimacy by Santana. <clears throat> I love getting the first look at these records. This is so much fun. Pete Townsend's Deep End, F Face the Face. First time on vinyl, limited edition, 2LP pressed on yellow vinyl. David Gilmore uh, on lead guitar includes the Face to Face, Rough Boys, Won't Get Fooled Again, and Pinball Wizard, and more. Ooh, the Offspring. Ooh, and I got a nice stack of them. <clears throat> Offspring's greatest hits. Exclusive blue color. color. Come out and play. Keep them separated. Self-esteem. Pretty fly for a white guy. On this cool foil jacket. Yeah, this is going to be a hit. You can get all the hits in one spot. Look at that nice stack of them I got. I love it. <clears throat> There's even more under here. All right, what's next? Ron Sexsmith, Long Player, Late Bloomer. Single LP on cooking vinyl. Limited edition green vinyl. Uh, his music just gets better. 2011 reissue. Next up, Ryan Hamilton, 1221. Single LP featuring 12, all 12 singles from his 20, 1221 project. Which, guys, this is a really interesting project. Mm -hmm. He released a new song every month on the internet. And that's why it's 12 and the year was 21. So it's all 12 of the songs compiled. They released one, one per month all through the year of 2021. Put it all together here on vinyl for the first time. Oh, we got a couple box sets. This is going to be a big one. Doors LA Woman Sessions box, 4LP box. Hear the progression on each song. LA Woman, as it developed in the studio, includes the original demo of Riders on the Storm, newly remixed from the original multi-track session tapes, limited edition. Look at that awesome box set. Um, we ordered a ton of these. I'm sure we got more than four. But there's the first four. Ramones. <clears throat> Ramones box set. Oh, man, these are hand-numbered. These are really cool. Here's the first three, I guess, we're unboxing. Limited edition of 14,006 original LPs with five on vinyl for the first time this century. Also includes new exclusive rarities LP on splatter vinyl and Ramones sticker sheet. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one of the most sought after records this year. There's what they look like, all the original records that are almost impossible to get. Well, like I said, most of them being available for the first time this century. I've had most of these, but it's been a long time. So excited to get all the Ramones albums in one shot. <clears throat> Let me move the stack over here. Let me start a new stack. Oh, man. They're getting ahead of me. Suzanne Vega, Close Up Extras. Uh, limited edition crystal colored LP. On vinyl for the very first time, 12 bonus tracks. Suzanne Vega been putting a lot of stuff out. Here's another one of those Townsend. Here's a... I'm a, I'll put ones that you've already gotten kind of off the side here, I guess. Oh, Ryan Hamilton, 1221. We already had one of those. Rory Gallagher, this is a new one. This is a previously unreleased live concert recording, live in San Diego, 1974. Oh, here's a nice stack of these. What do we got? Bad Company, live, 1979, two LP set. Classic live album on vinyl for the very first time. Limited edition, 6,500. You're going to have to get this stack. It's kind of a little piled up. All right, U2. U2's always put out a lot of stuff. This is a celebration. Limited edition, exclusive RSD release. Two previously unreleased tracks, 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. That's what it looks like. <coughs> There's a nice stack of them. Oh, there's the Patty Smith. That was what that poster was that I didn't know what it was. Oh, here's another one of those. So they we were in, we were promoted the Patty Smith, <coughs> um, the poster of this album, and uh, curated by record store day enthusiast classic Patty Smith. Twenty one tracks cost two LPs, including Gloria because the night, Dancing Barefoot, and People Have the Power. Look at that shopping in a record store. How awesome is that? So yeah, there was a promo poster. I'm guessing I'll probably give those away with the records um, <clears throat> the first couple we get, because I think we only got two. 
All right, we got a nice stack of Chet Baker Trio live in Paris. <clears throat> Let me get down to the bottom here. The Radio France recordings, 1983 to 1984. Limited edition, deluxe, 4,800 copies worldwide, 3LP set, hand numbered, official release <clears throat> with it from the Chet Baker estate. Pressed at 33 and a third by Kevin Gray. All the goodies. Nice big stack of those. Elemental recordings. All right, T Pete Townsend, we already did these. Roll the Chet Baker. <clears throat> we, oh, we already did a bunch of these Santanas. Some of this stuff we've already had. More Santanas, more Townsend, more Black Hearts, more Santana. I'm going to try to get them all sorted here. <clears throat> all right. Take a little break and do some CDs here. What do we got? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, sorry for the wait. CD. He, you know, he's put out a CD last record store day. And it's took a while to sell them, but they've been selling. Um, we're almost out of them now. <clears throat> and we got a twisted picture seven inch. Look, it's die cut. It's kind of a weird shape. I tried to warn you, and I tried to warn you, FTC Remix. Limited edition to 1,000. They are hand-numbered. Unbox one of those. Oh, we got over here. Oh, see what we got. Almond Brothers. Cream of the Crap. 2003 Highlights 3LP Edition. Gold, silver, and bronze colored vinyl. 12 by 12 poster. Highlights. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here on the back. Um, yeah, 3LPs. There's a lot of stuff on here, guys. Kind of looks like limited edition color poster. I love it. Allman Brothers is going to be a big one for us here at the store. Live in Loveland. Delvin Lamar Organ Trio. Live in Loveland. Recorded live to tape at Coal Mine Headquarters. Looks like it's a 2LP RSD exclusive limited to 10,000. Nice packaging. Really heavyweight packaging. Really, I think jazz lovers are going to be happy to see that. <clears throat> Replacements. Here's the first one of these I've gotten. Unsuitable for airplay. The Lost KFAI concert. 2LP set. Limited edition of 14,000. Earliest professional live recordings of the band's 2LPs from 1981. All right, what do we got next? Joni Mitchell Blue highlights. Highlights from Blue. Demos, outtakes, and live stuff. Of course, Joni Mitchell's Blue album is super, super iconic. Uh, vinyl classic, of course. A Case of You, California, All I Want. Hunter, Urge for Going River, My Old Man, Carry a Case of You. And then there's a couple with James Taylor here at the back, which is pretty cool. James Taylor on those. Limited edition, per usual. Oh, here's some more replacements. Try to get these together. We got a lot of sorting and we got a lot of pricing. We got a lot of stuff to do this this week, guys. Getting ready for the big day. Jimmy Cliff, follow my mind. Single LP. First one of those I've seen. Sandy Denny, Gold Dust. Single LP set. This is the final concert recorded at the Royalty Theater London in 1977. 75th birthday release of Sandy's last. Lost Live Album, her final concert. 180 gram vinyl. Nice stack of those. Let's see what we got over here. Guys, I should also mention that uh, Record Store Day is Saturday, April 23rd. Our doors open at 8 a.m. We will be doing a live feed right here on YouTube all day. Um, in the morning, I'll just have the camera up and you can kind of see the action as it unfolds. As it slows down, I'll pick up the mic and I'll start talking to you guys and showing you what you have left. We will take phone orders uh, during the day. We are not allowed to put on our website or on eBay till Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Central Time. So although you can go on our website and preview the stuff, see the price, see the pictures, all that good stuff, we are not allowed per record store day rules to sell that stuff till Sunday morning. At which point we will definitely put whatever we have left live on our website Sunday morning. Uh, so that's kind of the, the cheat sheet, if you will, of what's going on. Back to the stuff. Dave Brubeck Trio, live from Vienna, 1967. Uh, single LP. Got a nice stack of those. Brubeck, always popular. More replacements. 
a whole bunch more replacements. <clears throat> what we got next? Gong in the 70s. Ooh, look at the cool colors it comes on. Very first time in, in vinyl, collector's edition. Uh, two OP set. Now they're all sitting around with the instruments hanging out. Gong. Hey, how about this? Jackson 5 ABC. Built second studio album by the Jackson 5, which peaked at number one on the Billboard charts back in 1970. Sold millions of copies worldwide. Included ABC, The Love You Save, which both reached number one. Finally getting reissued. It's been a while. Stiff Little Fingers. Featuring recordings from London 81, Norwich 82, Energy and Power, Belfast's, Bel excuse me, Belfast's favorite punks. <laughs> Two LP set, uh, and it has both the concerts. One LP is one, and the other LP is the other. So. There's some more gong. Let me get these straightened out. <clears throat> oh, some more ABCs. Oh, here's a new one. The Knack. There's another stack of Knack over here. I can see them. We're still sorting stuff out, guys. Obviously, they're just coming out of the boxes. They're coming right over here. The Knack, live at the House of Blues, Hollywood, 92501. <clears throat> Two LPs, full of good hits. Papa's Dead, Baby Talks Dirty, Oterra, Cannibal Kiss, Another Lousy Day in Paradise, Good Girls Don't. My Sharona, of course. My stack of those. Some baby blue vinyl. Thoughts of America. America alternates and rarities. Now these America records have been doing really well on Record Store today. Sister Golden Hair, Spanish version. Lonely People, I Need You, Ventura Highway, and A Horse with No Name. Limited edition, sixty-five hundred on Soap Spud Green Vinyl. Oh, here's another Patty Smith. But, uh, yeah, America. Guys, if you are buying from us online, keep in mind that we ship in custom LP mailers. They are oversized. They are extend past the corners. They keep your corners really nice. Um, we do have a flat... Uh, we have a, Currently, we have a flat shipping rate on all of our regular new vinyl. Uh, $7 flat rate. Um, so take advantage of that, too. So... Thanks so much for watching. We're going to keep rolling here. We're still, we're almost a third of the way done. That's how much stuff we have. More Brubex, live from Vienna. These are, this is the first time I've seen this. This is Iggy Pop Berlin 1991, two LP set from Culture Factory Records. I think, wait, maybe it's not. Yeah, it, well, it's from France which is where the culture, this is on Revenge Records, same plant, because they do the OB strips on the different colors. One time pressing, printed inner sleeves. They didn't say how many they made, but Iggy Pop, another Iggy Pop live. They do one almost every year. <clears throat> more ABCs, more Patti Smith. Here's a new one. Motorhead, Motor Tape. This is Norwich, October, 1998. The Lost Tapes, limited edition, previously unreleased live album on double blue vinyl. They put one of these out last year, volume one. I don't know if they just did put volume two or I don't know what the story is on that. More Iggy's, more Americas. We got a whole stack of Bill Evans here. Let me just move these out of the way. Ugh. More Brubecks. Brubecks are always, these are going to be some of our biggest sellers, the Brubecks, the Evans. Jazz, just jazz, great jazz artists. We got a nice stack of Rory Gallagher's here. Two LP set, uh, live in San Diego, 1974. Previously unreleased live concert recording. 180 gram vinyl on Chess Records. A nice stack of those. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of those. Rory Gallagher doesn't put out a lot. Live in San Diego, 74. Let me move this stack for you. All right. How about this? Casey Musgraves, Star Cross, limited edition picture disc. This is the newest record by Casey Musgraves. And uh, we've never had the picture disc. So 
her records are doing really well. Um, the new kind of pop country stuff. We got a nice stack of those. Those will sell quite well. Ultravox, live at the Rainbow 77. <clears throat> 45th anniversary vinyl edition on vinyl for the first time, exclusive 2022 edition. Mono recording, it says right there on the back. Ultravox. All right, next up Pixies. Pixies live from Coachella, 2004. Iconic reunion performance issued for the very first time on vinyl. How cool is that cover? Side A, B, and C, so side D must be an etching, I would assume, since there's nothing on it. Those are all pixies. What's up next? Mutual Attraction, High Pulp, Volume 3. Uh, we had these out for, I think we had Volume 2 last time, but yeah, they've slowly been putting these out. Um, <clears throat> I like that they package the record outside the sleeve so it doesn't seem split. What's next? What is this? LA Guns. LA Guns walk, uh, Waking the Dead, first time on vinyl, the 2002 classic, Waking the Dead. Single LP, full length, it's got kind of a devil and uh, ladies on the cover, that's kind of interesting. Good art. You can fill up down here too. Okay. I mean, all right, Dave Davies. Kinked. This is uh, very first time on vinyl. Double pink and blue, 180 gram. Here's the record that they were taken from. 10 years of solo gems by the founding member of the Kinks. Includes God in My Brain, inspired by Davey's, Dave's stroke recovery and recorded in 2006. More of those. Oh, the stack over here. How we doing? We're getting through them. Almost done with the first lot. I think so. I don't know. Bleeding hearts, riches to rags. This is a Bob Stinton of the replacements. Previously re unreleased 1993 recordings, featuring great guitar work by Bob Stinson. <clears throat> or Kinks, or Motorhead. Anyway, guys, we got a lot of sorting to do. It's going to be a long week here, Toad Hall. All right, Stevie Nicks Belladonna. Now, this isn't just a regular old Belladonna. It's got a whole thing of bonus tracks, and it's a gatefold. 2LP, 180 gram, features original remastered album and early and alternate takes and cu soundtrack cuts. So you're getting the album plus a whole bunch of extra stuff. Is it on colored vinyl? It does not say it's on colored vinyl. But, great selling record, great lot of big time songs on it, um, so I'm sure we'll have no problem selling those Stevie Nicks Belladonna Expanded. So we got here? Oh, here's a, one of these snuck in there. <clears throat> More Cures. Art Pepper meets the Rhythm Section. Red Garland, Paul Chambers, single LP. Uh, it's on a nice jacket. Craft Recordings, Contemporary Acoustic Sounds Series, Mono Edition. Bernie Grunman cut it. You know it's going to sound good. Art Pepper. Cut a few of those. Oh, here's some more. Cures. Here's some more Art Peppers. Oh, more Belladonna's, but she's already at the bottom of the stack. So we'll just have to do our best. Art Pepper. Where are these? Art Peppers. Belladonna's. More Stiff Little Fingers. Which we've already had a bunch of these in. I'll set these right here. All right, all right. One of the most requested records for Record Store Day, and I think one of the hottest titles we will have all for all of Record Store Day, is the Allison Chains "We Die Young" limited edition release of the first studio EP. Obviously, Allison Chains, huge band. The price on this thing, from what I remember, was pretty inexpensive. Huge band. Great price on a record that you're never going to find original. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a huge hit. So, of course, we got a mountain of them. I said, you know, we had a mountain of uh, Foo Fighters last year, too, and those still sold out. So, you never know what's going to be popular, but I have a hankering that that record is going to be a big one. 
David Bowie, Brilliant Adventure EP. Now, Bowie's got a couple things coming out in this record store day. So here's the Brilliant Adventure EP. I think he's got a couple. Let me see if they packed them together. Oh, there's another Alice in Chains. A couple more Alice in Chains. Brilliant Adventure. Are these all Brilliant Adventures. <clears throat> these are like these are all Brilliant Adventure EPs. I think he had a couple releases uh, for this record store day. So this looks like it's all the same one, which is single LP. It's got uh, a small plot of land in my death. Uh, single, you know, side one, side two. Um, again, probably be pretty inexpensive, but hey, David Bowie, stuff's always sought after. Now, hold on, now you're keeping those separate, right? Yeah, well, that was just... That's the end of that? Yeah. So why don't you bring that over here, and then when we take those, we have to keep them separate, that's all. So that order has to be separate from this order, because we got to check them all in. We got lots of invoices and lots of stuff we have to keep straight over here, guys. So I just got to make sure we get it right. Because they charge us for it all, whether we get it or not. <laughs> Madonna, who's that girl? Super Club Mix. Single. Well, it's kind of an extended single. It's got five songs. Um, 35th anniversary on red vinyl. Buena Vista Social Club will be the last one out of this lot. EP. There's four songs on it, featuring previously unheard recordings from the original 1996 sessions, uh, produced the classic Grammy-winning Buena Vista Social Club album. All right, so that's the end of that, the first third. I would take those, those came in that, those doors boxes. Yeah. Why don't you just keep them over here so we, because we'll mix them up. Okay. We got this whole room, so you can put them anywhere you want. Just don't mix them up. <laughs> All right, we're into our next lot. We're past the first third mark, on to the next group. I don't even, I can't even know what this is. Masego, Studying Abroad, Extended Stay. I don't know if this is hip hop, or if it's, I'm thinking it's rap. Grammy nominated Best Progressive R&B Album, there you go. It's an R&B record. Next up, the bottom line, Lou Reed and Chris Christofferson. In their own words, with Ben Sikelsa. This is a one, two, three LP set. Triple vinyl, limited release, RSD exclusive. Christofferson and Lou Reed. What a, what a combo that is. <clears throat> Next up, Latin Legends Live, commemorative double vinyl. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's a... I think it's just a... I see Malo is on here, Tierra, oh, and El Chicano. Mostly just two or three artists. I love the I love the art there. That Legends Live. Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers. 35th anniversary, the final studio album from Jonathan Richmond and Modern Lovers. Includes I Love Hot Nights, Gail Loves Me, and African Lady. Limited edition Hot Nights Sky Blue Vinyl. Some of those. Here's another America. Greatest hits. This is always a good seller in our store if it, whenever I can get them. Friday Music reissued it. Back on. Back on vinyl. Happy to see that. St. Vincent's got something for Record Store Day. The Nowhere In. I love the, it's got like a foil art thing going on. Looks really cool. It's got, uh, St. Vincent was ambassador not too long ago. So, happy to see her. She's got something new there. Corey Bailey Ray, The Sea. This is Mercury nominated album, limited edition, blue vinyl. <clears throat> A couple of those. More Chet Bakers, um, which we had already gotten some of. Com.Venus. Counter Oberst, featuring Counter Oberst and Tim Kasher. Includes the bonus tracks. Uh, congratulations, all analog mastering cut by Kevin at Coherent Audio. Red and black smoke vinyl. All right. What is this? This is Rizzle Kicks, stereotypical. First reissue for Rizzle Kicks, 2011 album. 
Limited edition green vinyl includes the top 10 singles, Down With The Trumpets, When I Was A Youngster, and Mama Do The Hump. Couple of those. The Muffs. New improved Kinj Kim Shattuck demos. First ever release of demo recordings of the Muffs. There you have that. <clears throat> Trees of Ages. Laura Nero live in Japan. This is a two LP set. Uh, when I Die, Save the Century, Wedding Bells, Blues, and more. Live in Japan. Like I said, guys, you can head over to our website, TotalOnline.com. The link's in the bio. You can look at all this stuff. Of course, you can't buy it. Uh, but I will put a link for all our previous Record Store Day records. We do have thousands of old RSD records still available. You can purchase them today. So I'll put that link in the bio as well. The Lord, Forest Nocturne, the first solo album from The Lord, a.k.a. Greg Anderson of Sun O. So if you like really slow metal, this is the record you're going to want to get. The eight-song collection of heavy cinematic-inspired darkness takes cues from the legendary film composers. John Carpenter, 90s Scandinavian death metal. I know death metal Dan's going to be taking this one home. Just look at that cover. Love it. Tesseract, Polaris, picture disc, limited edition, record store day, limited edition. Love it. We got here, Trail of the Dead, and you will know us by the Trail of the Dead. Limited edition colored vinyl. It's got good art. 2020 press. Like I said, guys, we order every release every year. Um, doesn't mean we get everything because some stuff's UK only or regional, uh, but we get, I think last record started, we only were missing one. So we're doing pretty good. Jesse Ware, Devolution. It's almost like a Devo thing. Dev Devotion. <laughs> I have Devo on the brain, clearly, today. Uh, two LP set, 10th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, record, record Store Day 2020, Limited Edition, Gatefold 2 LP containing bonus un previously unreleased tracks on vinyl. Jesse Ware. Ooh. Jazz Sabbath. <clears throat> Paranoid, Snowblind, Orchid, Sleep Behind the Wall of Sleep. Sabra, Cadabra, Symptom of the Universe, NIB, and Black Sabbath. All limited mono edition, translucent natural vinyl, bonus track, bonus disc. Got a bonus disc? I wonder if that was a CD. It says, bon it says bonus track, bonus disc. Huh. Well, anyway, Black Sabbath, Jazz Sabbath, it's going to be a huge hit. Volume 1 sold out right away, so... Decided to have volume two out. Glad they kept it going. Christian McBride. Conversations with Christian. First time on vinyl, limited edition, two LP orange vinyl. Uh, oh yeah, this number's 50. We got some low numbers here, guys. Christian McBride trio. Or just Christian McBride, not the trio. <clears throat> Scott Walker. Boy Child, best of 67 to 70. Complete 1990 collection vinyl for the first time. Now expanded with four bonus tracks. New liner notes by Jarvin Cocker. Limited edition 2LP gatefold and white vinyl. I know this video is running long, guys. We just got so much. I'll kind of speed it up a little for you. Melanie C, Northern Star. Pressing the first time. Vinyl for the first time includes three bonus tracks. Exclusive etching. All right. Here's a stack. Oh, here's a nice stack of Joan Jets. Look at all of those. Guys, we order big for Record Store Day. We want to make sure everybody has a chance of getting what they want because that is the spirit of Record Store Day. Mingus, the lost album from Ronnie Scott's. This is a limited edition of 5,000, 3LP set, Resonance Records, previously unissued, blistering live sets of Charles Mingus. And we got a mountain of them. Rolling Stones. More Hot Rocks, Big Hits, and Phase Cookies. This is obviously a reissue. Um, it's a 280 gram glow-in-the-dark vinyl lithographs on archival paper, original gatefold art. This is something you're not going to find just everywhere. I love the 180 gram glow-in-the-dark. I think that's really cool. 
Stones fans usually show up in droves for this kind of stuff. So I expect the same probably will happen this year. I got one more. Oh, and more, more Bill Evans, Morning Glory. Um, just got a couple more of those. While they swap, switch out my stacks. We got some sevens and some CDs. This is the first CD here. Oh, of this of this order. Kid Creole and the uh, coconuts. Fresh fruit in foreign places. Single CD. Oh, here's some. Look at the stack of seven inches, guys. Vince Guaraldi Trio, baseball time, which it is. It's baseball season's here, finally. Baseball theme, baseball thing, alternate take. Heck, the art's worth purchase, worth, worth the purchase right there. And in fact, the seven inches, sometimes they sell a little slow, but we usually get a lot of the heavy, heavy hitters. So Night Ranger, Western, wasted time, backside with free. I saw Night Ranger last summer and they did a phenomenal job. So definitely worth checking out this and their new album and the band played on is their newest record. But uh, definitely worth checking out. Ooh, I love it. It's got the RSD 15 years sticker on this one. Noel Gallagher, it's High Flying Birds. It's got uh, two demos on it. We're going to get in there in the end and trying to find two world that's been gone. It's hard to read because it's his handwriting. Bunch more of the Foos, one of my fa all time favorite bands. Hopefully, everybody gets a shot at getting these. Actually, today we just sold out of our last Billie Eilish from rec last record store day. Of course, we started with like 50 or 60. So. But yeah, they find they are. Sometimes things go fast and sometimes they stick around a little. Blondie, Sunday Girl EP. Now, this is pretty cool. This is uh, Blondie's 1979 number one smash remastered from the original analog tapes. It's a double gatefold of 45, include the English and French versions, plus a 79 live recording. I'll be mean, must have for Blondie fans. <clears throat> a couple set, 10 inches here. Another exclusive Mickey Dread production, The Gun. Limited only 1,500 copies on red, gold, or green color vinyl. And you can tell this one's red. Hand numbered, I got number 304 and 299. Music on vinyl, 10 inch. Just a couple of those. Shocking Blue at Home, the singles. Featured, featuring the 1969 original mixes. Limited edition 3000, individually numbered on pink vinyl. It's actually got a lot of songs on it. It's got eight songs. So you're actually getting what you pay for there. I like that. Well, oh, I got a bunch of them because it's Shocking Blue. So it's got Venus on it, guys. So, And a bunch of other. Does it have Love Buzz? No. Cypress Hill, 420 remixes, which is around the corner. 10 inch single, cut at 45 RPM. How could I just, how I could just kill a man and hand on the pump? Two huge, huge songs, um, but they're remixes. Beat Butcher remix and DJ Muggs 2021 remix. So, like those. We already did the Melanie C, already had those. What else we got, what's this? Debbie Gibson, Me Not Loving You, Stripped. Uh, Lost In Your Eyes, The Duet. So there's the back. Picture disc. All right. Jeff Tate, King of Thieves. Uh, she slipped away. It's a full length double LP record. And it's on, I think it's on colored vinyl. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's on like a neon yellow vinyl. First time on wax, lime vinyl is what they're calling it. For the Jeff Tate record. <clears throat> Oh, here's that King Creole, or Kid Creole and the Coconuts on vinyl. So we have it on CD and we have it on vinyl. Masters are masterful. Yes, indeed. These tracks have never sounded so crisp. What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, and you'll notice by the Trail of the Dead, we already did those. Dana Gillespie, Foolish Seasons. The first UK vinyl release of one of the Great lost albums of British 1960s pop. Remastered from the original tapes. Two unreleased songs, plus notes. 60s pop lost stuff. You gotta love it. Sleep Token, Sundowning. Two LP set. I've got the cool 15 year sticker on there. All right, soundtracks. More, more cool soundtracks. 
the Red Queen kills seven times. 50th anniversary, Italian horror sounds, restored and remastered from original master tapes, special red vinyl. Gosh, these have been so popular and so cool. I really highly recommend checking these out because they are, they're something else. They've done, some of the old ones have been, some of the ones from the last record store days have been really popular. Oh, Peth, my arms, your hearse. Two LP set, two 140 gram purple white swirl vinyl records. Blue Velvet, which is a soundtrack by Angelo Baldiamonte. Maybe you've seen Twin Peaks. Well, he did all that as well. That's why you know that name. 60 minutes of additional music, including Blue Velvet from Bobby Vinton, 1986 Italian poster by Enzo Sicotti. New notes with inter interviews pressed on marbleized blue vinyl. So you're, getting, you're getting some bang for your buck there. So you don't slide. So far, I've been pretty happy with uh, things haven't been damaged. I know we did get one box that was damaged in shipping. I know we'll get to those in a minute. But Art Pepper, a big stack of Art Pepper meets rhythm section. Uh, that'll be a huge hit with the jazz guys. Mariah Carey, number ones. Did you guys know that Mariah Carey had this many number ones? She is up there with the Beatles with the most number ones. It's amazing to think of. But you can get them all right here. This is a brand new double LP pressing of the original 1998 release. Remastered at 24-bit high-res audio for vinyl. Has all the hits. And of course, it's Mariah, so we gotta get a nice stack of them. Sarah Bareilles, Little Voice. The breakthrough album, Little Voice, Love Song, Gra Gravity, and Bottle It Up. Limited edition, 15th anniversary edition. Includes a special handwritten note from Sarah. How cool is that? I have to do this one next. It's bright neon. How can I miss it? It is Maxim Mental Effing. <laughs> I can't say that word. Uh, vinyl only EP from Max Bemis. Max Bemis is the guy from uh, Say Anything. Uh, it looks like it's got five tracks on it. Record Store Day exclusive, limited to a thousand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's got an etching on one side and five on the other. I only got two so far. If they only made a thousand, I probably didn't. I'm not going to get many than that, more than that. So, bunch more Patty Smiths. Bunch more Patty Smiths. What do we got here? This is. What is this? Future DS2, the third studio album, double platinum, two LP teal colored vinyl. Uh, Hip hop rap legends future. Um, obviously, I've never had this record in the store, so they're just getting caught up on this stuff now. <clears throat> What's this? The last thing I got here Girl House, exclusive first ever vinyl release, includes unreleased demo a lot and orange flexi disc. There you have it there. There's the art there on the back. I'm guessing all the. Uh, oh, they do have a track listing at the bottom here. This looks like six songs. All right, we're getting down to the end of the second batch. I hope this. I uh, hope I don't run out of video, guys. Uh, I'll do my best. Otherwise, we'll have to do a part two. <clears throat> it's just so much this week, this drop. The Walkmen. This is deluxe edition Lisbon, two LP set. Deluxe edition. Frankie and the Witch Fingers. Here we go. Self-titled sophomore album. Frankie and the Witch Fingers. Lo-fi. Fuzzed up Ripper. There's the back there. Freaky and the Witch Fingers always sell quite well in our shop. Dillinger Escape Plan. If you're into metal, you know them. Limited edition Gold Ripple LP. Two LP set. That's what the back looks like. 2016 looks like is the original release date. Catatonics. Here's one you probably won't see too many of. It's on black Green Black Splatter limited to only a thousand copies. So that's going to be a, a sought after one. Uh, moving Pictures, Charlie Burnett and Friends. Obviously, it's, it, it's uh, Subdivisions, Red, it's Rush, Moving Pictures, but they call it Moving Pictures. Uh, YYZ, Free, Free Will, and La Villa Strangolato. Kind of a cool little mix up they did there. 
<clears throat> Bamba Estereno, live in Dublin. Hey, we got some viewers from, from Ireland. Here you go, guys. Live in Ireland featuring the hit Fuego, limited edition tri-color splatter. All right, we're getting down to the end of the second box, or second order. Yeah, we did all those Townsends, so you can just pass them. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of repeats, so. Uh, portraits of her. Guys, I also did a little bit of unboxing on my morning show. If you go back uh, to Mon Tuesday's show, I did do some obscure unboxings from another uh, a lot we got in. Kenny Garrett, Garrett. Sketches of MD live at the Iridium featuring Pharaoh Sanders, who is kind of a newer jazz guy there. Look, it's got the hand numbered, or not hand numbered, the, the numbered press there on the back. And it looks like we're going to have a lot of, I, have, I still have all these boxes behind me, guys. We, we have so much coming out for Record Store Day, we can't even unbox them fast enough. What do you got? Oh, there's some new stuff coming. <clears throat> yeah, I know, you got the duplicates, they slow you down. Here's a big one. Def Leppard, high and dry, high and dry. Finally back on vinyl. It is a picture disc, which I know some people don't love. But then again, what are your options? You know, try to find an original, pay it through the nose, get this. Eventually, they'll probably reissue the regular record, but it could be a while. So it's cool that we have this cool, like, it'll probably be the only time you ever see this on picture disc. So it's going to be an instant collectible from what I... I bet. I would bet. Any, there's a lot of Def Leppard fans out there. So, More Chet Bakers. We've already had those. Um, how we doing? You're almost done on that stack? I think a lot of the ones left are duplicates. We've got a lot of duplicates left. So I think that's going to kind of do it for this video. I'm, I'm going to probably have to do a part two just because we have so much more. So check out the channel. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, we really do appreciate it. We will do... Lots of other RSD videos coming up in the next week. Uh, we'll be live here on Record Store Day. Uh, we got more to unbox. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, guys. Nick, we had a break for lunch because we were getting hungry and there was just so many records. And we opened a few boxes and there's a lot of duplicates. So we're now kind of trying to wrap up these big first three orders. Another pallet showed up today. Another pallet that's as tall as I am on a full skid. We're just going to have to do that another day. Um, so I'm going to try to squeeze these three all, this first day one all together here. So a couple left. Cranberries, Remembering Dolores. This is a collection of songs chosen by band members, family, and other collaborators for the memories they evoke of Dolores. Two LP set. <clears throat> there you have it there on the back. Got a nice stack of those. And one we missed from the first group, but we had in the second group a whole box of the Black Pumas. Now, I went out on a limb. I thought this was going to be... Black Pumas have been a huge deal this last year. And I really think this is going to be one of those collectible items. Um, they are a phenomenal band. There's only 5,000 copies worldwide. Grammy-nominated debut album as an A and B side singles collection plus two bonus remixes from Pete Rock and Bad Bad Not Good. Six 45 seven inches with brand new artwork and 28 page hardcover book. How cool is that package? It looks awesome. So I'm thinking that's gonna be a real big one. Do please check that out. So that wraps up the lot number two and we're getting into we're starting up with lot three for the day, and we'll just have to do the rest another day. Bowie toy. I told you there was a few Bowies coming out. This is the toy EP. You've got it made with all the toys. It's a 10 inch, so obviously it stands out a little different than the uh, other Bowie release. We got a nice stack of them because our data said you guys wanted Bowie. So we got it for you. This is the start of lot three. Uh, we already did this. Noel Gallagher, High Flying Bird, 7-inch. We showed that. So some of this we've already had. Cypress Hill remixes, How I Could Just Kill a Man. We already did that. Um, but this Vivoid, Voidoid, 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 Angel Rat. I haven't had this yet. This is first North American LP release in the 91 Prog Metal Masterpiece. Just got those in. There's one so far. 
But like I said, we got more coming. Nick Cave in the Bad Seas, Lides, Live Seeds. Exclusive limited edition, double LP, etched transparent red vinyl. Remastered for vinyl includes uh, Mercy Seat, Deanna Topola, The Ship Song, and many more. What do we got next here? Tennis System Autophobia. Single LP. It looks like it's a, I don't think it's a picture disc. That's a, that's a, like a photo insert they slid in there. It doesn't really give me much other than that. Jay Bennett. Where are you, Jay Bennett? The story of a musical genius who left us much too soon. Two LP set includes the DVD. How cool is that? It says it right here. Includes the DVD. All right. Judas Priest. This is a Hero Hero. Two LP set. And it's embossed. Man, Judas Priest knows how to do it right. Track listing embossed. First time embossed edition. Red and blue vinyl download card. So this is the first time you can get it embossed. Um, Judas Priest knows what they're doing, man. They seem to knock it out of the park. I got a nice big stack of that. Colored vinyl, embossed jacket. Priest, you're going to love it. How about this? Proclaimers. Two LP expanded edition featuring the hit single, I'm going to be, or better known as 500 Miles, plus BBC Radio Sessions, Glastonbury Performance on Marbled Vinyl. Never seen that on vinyl before. Apparently it was put, but I've never seen one. Lou Reed, I'm So Free, the 1971 RCA Demos. This is Reed as few have ever heard him. This songwriter at work pure and alone before the noise, swagger, and legend. 1971 demos of his first recording session as a solo artist. Gojira, live at Brixton Academy. The 2013 concert. 2LP includes a logo etching limited to 8,500. Some of those. Howard Wales, 3LP, Rendezvous with the Sun. That's got this cool little and Ubiquity record. It's got a nice little Obi strip there. I dig that. All right, here's, one, here's a fun one. Lost in Space soundtrack. Limited edition featuring several classic themes, bonus interviews, transparent colored vinyl, purple colored vinyl. It's got... Uh, it's got the themes. So season one and two main title theme, one and two end theme, bumper title theme for season one and two alternate version, season two unused main, season three, season three, and side B has got interviews with different people. And then it's got a Lost in Space Forever end title theme at the back. So I think they're only making like a thousand of these. So that's a pretty neat piece. Darlene Love, I unboxed this on my morning show first. Darling Love and the Blossom in, in One Hip Happening LP Collection. It's on 15 songs spanning over 50 years of rare Darling Love recordings. No, none ever before on vinyl. Includes four page insert with liner notes. Teal vinyl, 3,500 copies. This is just an RSD essential. You know what? This, uh, some of these aren't our Record Store Day records. So we're going to have to sort them out. This is not, this is Alabama Shakes uh, RSD Essential, which is not RSD. But. And same thing with, I don't think this is a record store day. This is uh, of Monsters and Men, 10th anniversary edition of My Hand is an Animal, which is a classic record. Great album, but I don't think it's RSD. Looks like our orders are getting mixed up RSD and non RSD. So, Jonathan Richmond and Modern Lovers, Back in Your Life. Yeah, these are non-RSD records. Sorry, guys. We're getting some stuff mixed up. So that last box you opened. Oh, wait. These are. I don't know if you're in a. That's a record store day. When you, when you get so much stuff, it's hard to keep everything sorted, guys. Tegan and Sarah, still jealous. This is a uh, remixed and reimagined on opaque red vinyl. Tegan and Sarah's release. We already did Ultravox. Uh, Nightingales, Deluxe Expanded Nightingale Second LP. S Night Ranger, Somewhere in California. I think this is just their new record. I don't think that's a record store day. This one is, I believe, Jay Bennett. 
Ooh, we got some sorting to do, guys. Sorry about this. This is Record Store Day. This is 1989 remixes, 1992 electronic. Uh, Tubular Bells, Mike Oldfield. I believe this is Record Store Day. Yes, it is. Single LP. They kind of changed up the colors a little bit, which I appreciate. Just keep these in order three separate. We should be all right. Sheena Easton, the definitive 12 inch singles, limited edition pink vinyl, first ever 12 inch singles compiled, two previously unreleased tracks, including lost 12 inch singles. Look at that. Nice big 2LP packaging. Uh, Brian Bennett, I opened this up on the morning show as well for Record Store Day. Voyage. The impossibly futuristic and funky 78 album from Shadows drummer Brian Bennett. First ever U.S. vinyl release. Girl House. Um, I think we already opened this one. Uh, the Walkman. The Damned. Or the Walkman album. Uh, Lisbon, we already opened that. Uh, the Damned. Strawberries. This is on pink and white splatter vinyl. Record Store Day Edition. A couple of those. <clears throat> Wallows, singles collection. Here's a new one. 2017-2020 uh, limited blue sky, sky blue vinyl. Got a couple of these. Here's some new stuff. Sepultura, record store day, limited edition picture disc. Single LP, picture disc compares rare covers, mini album. Joss Stone, remastered Record Store Day edition. Purple Vinyl, Picnic for Two, featuring Davey Stewart. Single LP there. We already did Jonathan Richmond. We haven't done this one. First time on vinyl in the US. This is, I don't even know who this is. It is The Lost Japanese Psychedelic Masterpiece. Uh, what is the name of it? It is a Rock Age. Not sure. I'll have to do some research on this. Tucson and Return to Tucson. Kid Creole. We already went over that. Don't Drew Escape Plan. Johnny Marr. Here's a new one. We haven't had this one yet. It's a two song 12 inch. Spirit, Power, and Soul. So I have a picture of him on back. Just got the two songs on it. I don't think they're making too many of those. The Lord. For the guy from Sun O doing a low solo. We already went over that. <clears throat> We're almost done. I don't know. Oh. We insist Max Roach Freedom Now Suite. Featuring Abby Lincoln, Coleman Hawkins. Oh look at that, it looks like a newspaper. I dig it. We insist Max Roach Freedom. Well here's a new one. Pepper Adams with the Tommy Banks trio live at the room at the top. Uh, let's see here. Deluxe CD version also available. 180 gram double mastered by Kevin Gray. Uh, transferred directly from original real tapes. Gotta love it. St. Vincent's we already had. Sandy Denny we already did. The Steve Earls I unboxed on my morning show. Uh, and the Dukes up against the wall. Redneck Mother. Uh, full length is still available. Jukebox Babe, Alan Vega, 7-inch. Probably not too many of these. Hot pick of pop pink vinyl. Salutations. Featuring, it's just a bunch of letters and numbers. This is all done right here. This stack is done too. Dead Famous People, Lost Persons Area. Haven't seen this one either. Open this on the morning show. This was uh, the Middle Eastern Soul of Carly Records, Soren Varian. It's three records from the Middle East that they put all on a three LP colored vinyl set. They kind of repackaged those. Laura Nero, La Femme, this is a new one. Supplements, it's a full length. Here are 10 new bonus tracks from the album Paradigms. <coughs> Excuse me, Aid, A-D-E, it's just wind. This is the dong record. There's a dong on that record. Chuck Prophet, Age of Miracles. We already went through that. Oh, this is on the morning show. Age of Miracles, originally released in 2004. 
First time worldwide, marble pink vinyl. The Judy Bats, I haven't think I've had this one. The 91 debut, olive green vinyl pressing. We already did this Com Venus, we already did this. Udo Dirk Schneider, this is new. Atomic Fire exclusive record store day edition, white, black, marble, blue vinyl. This includes signed photo card. How cool is that? Not everybody does that. How about Willie Nelson? Willie Live Texas Opera House. I can't believe this is the first one of these I've seen. Live at Texas Opry 1974, two LP set. Uh, Beginnings of Outlaw Country, originally produced by Jer Jerry Wexler. Includes four bonus tracks. A bunch more Jonies. All right, here's a new one. Black Label Society. Alcohol Fueled Brutality Live, plus five. Two LP set, made in Canada. Let's see if it's got a color. It's first time on vinyl in 10 plus years. Two LP colored vinyl. Doesn't say what color though. I'm gonna assume green though, because it's a green sticker. That seems fair, right? There's a whole stack of those. Like I said, guys, you can keep up on all this stuff at toadhallonline.com. There's a link right in the bio. You can see the current stuff. You can't buy it. And then I'll have a link to all previous record story stuff, which you can buy right now. Um, some rare stuff in there. Here's some more incoming. All right, Thomas Dolby, hype. Hyperactive, Heavy Breather Subversion. There is the uh, two versions of Hyperactive and White City on B-side. So it's like a 12-inch single, but, which is cool. I haven't seen that. Golden Smog. This is a new one I haven't seen yet. Golden Smog, first time on vinyl, 30th anniversary of debut covers EP for the Minneapolis Supergroup. So, a bunch of covers, I guess. We already did the future record. We talked about that. Ooh, I haven't talked about this one. Rory, Rocky Erickson and the Explosives. Halloween 2 Live 2007. Halloween 2 is an audio and visual document from the amazing comeback of Rocky Erickson and the Explosives from 05 to 08. Never before released recordings were taken from the One Fire performance in New York City 07. <clears throat> Maybe some of you might recognize this. Asia, limited edition picture disc, 2012 reunion album, half speed mastering, improved for audio quality, Roger Dean artwork, record store day, 2022. Yeah, those are, uh, yeah, that's a bunch more Willie Nelsons, but we've already done them. Nick Lowe, I unboxed this on my morning show, got a bunch of these. Wireless World, single LP, green splatter, dust bin, splatter vinyl. This is, uh, combines the U.S. and U.K. track listing of Nick Lowe's Polynomous debut solo album. I like the trash can holding the guitar. Look, that's it. It looks like that's it for today. We got another palette. If it's a bunch of the same stuff, I'm, I don't know. We'll see. That's a whole nother day away. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you guys are first in on all the RSD goodies. We got more coming. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.